What up, world? Back with another episode of this weird thing that I do on the internet. Uh, seemingly, it's fun. People enjoy it, maybe. Not sure, but they do. Confirmed last night at the same time. I don't know, but hey, I'm here. Can't stop doing it. Like to do it. Hey, well, okay. It's a whole thing. All right, well, we got a little speedy lady on a bike. That's what she looks like, a Vespa, in fact. It's delivery, it's Burger King. Uh, we're not cooking today. Also, just by the way, on this channel, if you guys didn't realize, I do still cook. I just, I'm not in the situation where I can cook all the time, but you know, my last few videos, barbecue, cooking, those are cooking videos still, so just appreciate that. Um, but at the same time, I do like to have some fast food from time to time, so we're gonna do that too. Burger King being one of my favorites. This is a very classic meal here. We all know this about me. Um, it doesn't stray. It is what it is. We're gonna have a fork. We're gonna have an OG chicken sandwich, looking like a Hey Arnold football head. Of course, we're gonna have a Whopper, heavy all. Gotta get to it. We're gonna have some napkins as well. And we're gonna have a, a poutine, Canadian treat. Lots of Canadian treats. So, two forks. Once again, they thought I was eating for two not true so we just we just get rid of that but uh, maybe we'll use it who knows maybe halfway between you know through my poutine i'm gonna feel like i need a fork change but, you know like he's riding the bench the main guy's getting tired i bring in the next fork probably not but we also have a barks root beer love barks barks johnny barks has bite and johnny Here's the thing though, I like it icy. There's like two cubes of ice in it, which I'm not feeling. But let's get to the business, straight to it. And uh, I don't even know, I don't even know what I'm talking about. I don't think I'm talking about anything today in particular. Well, yeah, something in particular. A little bit in my head, just like instances of last night. Instances, you know what, maybe I'll, Thumb kneesy that instances of last night. This is a, this is a I got turned up last night with some old school hombres. Oh my god, it's looking too clutch though. And I feel like my Thunder Bay accent is coming back. Back scent. Uh, that is a point of contention in my life right now. I'm worried about it. I'm trying to not do it right now, but I feel like the my being back here in the city is reactivating my Canadian northern twang. It's just like when you spend time around. I feel like when you, you're in an environment, you kind of adapt to the way that the people speak in the environment and here it's very, you know, that's how it was when I first, come on. It's how it was when I first moved to Toronto. It was like, I had like a twang, a Canadian like Thunder Bay twang and I don't know if it's coming back or not. We'll see. But uh, one thing's for sure and true is that these videos will be the gauge of that. Because I can watch myself back and be like, hey, you got a twang, buddy. I definitely did just there. Wow. Mm -hmm. Natural light. And delicious food. Mm hmm. actually so good it's not like I didn't know it would be good but this Whopper guys Whopper to proper heavy all too many onions though to be honest I can tell already it's too much for me I like heavy lettuce tomato all that stuff but 
too many onions is no 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 good all. Too many raw onions, I should say. Mm -hmm. That next bite will be too good. Somebody once said to me in my comments, your videos are much better when you're really hungry. I can get on board with that. That makes sense to me. When you see someone really, really enjoying the food, for sure. I'll probably make you more intensified in your hunger and your craves. But, you know, I'm never going to go full Steven Sushi. I'm never going to smack tables and act like an idiot. So... There's that. Food's good, but it doesn't warrant beating up household objects. And moaning like a hurt, orgasmic dog. So, Stephen Sushi, if you're watching this, which I know you aren't, just chill out. Relax. I've had Domino's, pizza and wings, lots. Not that good. Decent, but you know, not warranting the, the response that you give them. Moving on. This burger is fire. More importantly, I went out last night, um, but I had some pre-drinks with like an old friend, or old friends, one of them who recently just got married, look at that, and um, wow, well done. He's like an old school OG, like um, elementary school guy. And when I first got into town, it was like, he's like, hey, you're in town. I didn't know you're coming to town. Me and my girl are getting married. You should come to our wedding, like the after party thing. You know, I couldn't include you in the wedding because I didn't know you're coming, but. I didn't know you'd be in town, but come to the party. A few days before we were talking, I didn't have like the right clothes and stuff. I felt, felt kind of stressed out. Just circumstantially things happen, but anyways, uh, a few days before I was like messaging, I messaged his, like who, the, his wife, and I was like, hey, I'm supposed to like, come to your like wedding party, but I feel stressed, like I don't have the right clothing and stuff. She was like, whatever, just like wear the best thing that you have. But the best thing I had was like, I don't have any dress shoes or anything. I just have like my, my trainers and stuff. Cause I essentially fled Toronto real quick. And, uh, 
she's like, wear whatever you want, blah, blah, blah. And she's like, she's like, also, my sister is anticipating meeting you. She's like your biggest fan. And I'm like, I've never met this girl or whatever. Like, you know, I didn't even know this girl, this girl had a sister. I'm like, fan how? She's like, your videos on YouTube. I'm like, no. <laughs> right. Excuse me. Wow. That's crazy. So I was just like, I'm dying laughing. And she's like, she's like, yeah, she's stoked you're coming to the wedding. She's getting like prepped to like meet you and conversate with you about YouTube. So that brought to light, like, in my head, I'm like, wow, so many more people around me than I think, than I even know, know, like, just know and watch me on the internet. So, last night, I'm drinking with the, drinking with the dude who got married. My old school guy. And I told him about that, about like his wife's sister. Like anticipating to meet me. And then we just started talking about like this and whatever. And he's like, yo, the f he's like, I was watching your video the other night. I'm like, you watch me? He's like, yeah. He's like, yeah. Like, I pull up, I pull up with a plate. I'm like, watch your videos. I have like a group eat. With like the old school, with like an old school homie. I was like, that's crazy, first of all. But cool. Shout out to you, AC Pimp. Um. <laughs> That he's like, he's like, you said something in your wing video the other day that just absolutely murdered me. He's like, at a certain point, you bite a carrot and you're like, carrot cool down. And we just, I don't know, we just died laughing about it. But, uh, it actually, that brought up the topic of like, between me and my boys, we're, we're just having some drinks and. I brought up the topic of like even back in the day but even in today's day so there's this whole thing of like you pull up with a plate and you watch some Netflix or this whatever it's kind of like right you always eat with entertainment and it they were saying how back in the day they used to like like pull up in the love seat with a plate and watch like the Simpsons or whatever, right? So, I mean, it's just, he was kind of just like, yeah, it's just, it's kind of just like that. It's like, I'm watching a different format entertainment. It's like just somebody else eating now, which is kind of true. It's kind of crazy to think about like, we as the people have always been engaged in some sort of like watching <clears throat> something while eating but at the same time it all depends and that's another conversation we had is like what was your upbringing and what was your family structure because some families like mine had the tradition strict tr tradition of like chicken sandwiches at the dinner table but no really strict tradition of like dinner time but at the table everybody chopping it up and I come from a weird blended family of 
nine humans in a house of so parents and seven kids fused together and our parents were like dinner time is dinner time like and you sit together and you talk and you you talk about your day da, da, da. some people come from like you know work single parent family working mom working dad homes like So they got a different experience. They were allowed to like just watch TV and eat. I wasn't. It's very different. But that also sparked the dialogue of this. It's almost like if you're eating at the dinner table anyways, family style, I didn't think about it in perspective, but it is. It's the same thing. It's like a, it's like a mukbang. I'm, I literally spent years of my life as a child sitting across from like four other people, two here, two here, and you're just looking at each other, watching each other shovel food in your mouth, and then like laughing and talking about whatever, like whatever topics arise, your day. So really... I know mukbangs originated in Asian culture, but really they, they just originated in family dinner dining culture. So shout out shout out the OG Platonic family eating style. Maybe Italians. I think Italians are most known for that. We've been mukbanging for centuries, really. If we're talking King's Table, like fruit and pigs and stuff. Legs of turkey, just chopping it up, mashing food in front of each other. Like, <laughs> it's just now it's like digital electronic instead. It's like you're just at a screen, and the person can't talk back and answer your questions in real life. So that's different. But really, I mean. <laughs> The Italian family style dining is the original original mukbang by 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 nature. Live and live in color. All right, I'm so full. I feel terrible, to be honest. Uh, I'm gonna go die now, probably. And uh, hopefully, I'll upload something else for you if I if I if I live through this day. So, till the next one. You know what to do. You gotta eat good, live well. Cool down carrot, stay true. <laughs> Peace.